How's it going guys, today we're back with a brand new weapon review and we're going to be reviewing the triple bar pistol It's a new pistol of Tri-4 that just released like, like, like what, two hours ago Yeah, it's been two hours and I really grinded out on my stream and got it So it's basically six tiers and just two days only to get it And I haven't played with it yet, so we're going to play with it Missions, multiplayer and hordes, but yeah, hordes are going to be bad because it's just a handgun But mostly we're going to be focused on missions and multiplayer First of all, I'm going to show you the armor we're going to be rocking. I'm going to be using the auto jump cap just because it's a handgun and it provides 7% damage with handguns. Then the medic jacket, which gives you a 30% protection. And the pants, which just collect medals faster. So let's go in missions and test out. Okay, so I've gone ahead in missions. I've never played with this weapon before. So let's see. She's so basically, it has 20 bullets. The fire rate is good. And oh my god, this weapon. I am using glass cannon, so I am using glass cannon, so this is with glass cannon, with glass cannon right now. My god, this weapon has a good fire rate. My god, this weapon is really, really good. As I see it in missions right now, it's really, really good. I haven't played with it multiplayer yet, because this is my first game play with it. It's really, really good, it has many bullets. The fire rate is very good, the damage is one shot, basically. The range is also really good. So let's test it now without glass cannon. Okay, so now it's without glass cannon. So, without glass cannon is kind of weak in range. Because you, you could even go up to a 3 shot. But in close range, without glass cannons in missions is 1 shot. Or 2 shot in middle range. Without glass cannon, it, it is kind of weak to be honest without glass cannon. It is kind of weak to be honest. But let's go ahead in multiplayer and test it out. Are we going to be using glass cannon in multiplayer? Because most of the people have glass cannon nowadays because they have they got the 15 legendary respawn nights from yesterday's uh, event that was like so easy to complete and you get 50 respawns basically for free. So yeah, let's go in multiplayer and test it out. Okay, so I've gone ahead in Team VS and we're going to test the weapon out. So I am using glass cannon right now with glass cannon because without glass cannon it lacks a bit. So let's see how performance the Team VS. So it, I one shot at that guy from that range, so it's pretty good, it's like two, two shot to three shot in very very long range. Yeah, it's actually really good, this weapon. But, uh, mind, I'm using glass cannon, I'm not going to say it again. Because without glass cannon it lacks a bit. But like, I one shot this guy, so like 21 bullets and I one shot this guy. This is like to chain fit the kills, like get a lot of kills combined, this weapon. Yeah, it's a good, it's actually a good, really good weapon. It's probably, it's better than the Clover's Cloner, for sure. It's a good weapon, but it's not like an OP weapon, because like, I would have destroyed the lobby with an OP weapon right now. Its fire rate is good and bad at the same time, like... It reminds me kind of the, kind of the werewolf weapon. The mechanical clone. So yeah, this weapon isn't the best. It's an average weapon, I would say, with glass cannon, so yeah. So yeah, overall, this weapon is an average weapon, I would say. So yeah, now I'm going to pop up on the screen the good and bad about this weapon. So the good things about this weapon, the overall conclusion about this weapon, basically are, it has really, really good range, alright? With glass cannon, it's really, really good. But not broken, it's not broken, it's just a really good weapon. Without glass cannon, I would say it's a bad weapon, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend using it without glass cannon. So overall, this is a good weapon, good range, good range, good fire rate, decent fire rate, I would say, and good damage. So yeah, that makes it an average weapon. So triple barrel pistol, it's called, it's a handgun. So yeah, the range is really good, damage is good, and also the fire rate is decent. It doesn't have the best fire rate, but it's decent. When I was playing missions, I thought it was really good, the fire rate, but now that I see it, it's decent, it's not that good. I'm not going to test it out in hordes, I know I said in the beginning of the video I'm going to test it out in hordes, but like, there's not really much point to test it out in hordes, because like, this weapon won't do anything, won't, won't kill the zombies fast, like, it's not a fire weapon, so yeah, there's no point. But anyways, guys, this was it for the review, I hope you enjoyed, so as I said, I would recommend you guys getting it from the trial, there's two days left on the trial, 
because they basically they add they add it in the middle of the week so it's two days and two, then there's the next event because this is the last trial so yeah i would really like recommend you guys to get it it's like a, a really good weapon and a fun weapon actually it's a fun weapon to use better than the clover's cloner which was the last the previous challenge weapon okay so one more time let's recap the final conclusion good range decent fire rate average fire rate i would say not decent average fire rate good damage and it's really really fun to use but without glass cannon i wouldn't recommend it so yeah get it guys from the trial catch you guys on the next weapon review or the next live stream or actually i'm gonna catch you guys on the next event Catch you guys then. Peace.